Shalom everyone, may the Lord bless you. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. This is I Am Church London and I am your host brother Kevin. Shalom to you all where you are. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord bless your families. May the Lord bless your homes. Thank you very much for joining us. Please invite your families and friends. Please share the live stream link on your stories and your groups. Share with all your contacts. Share with whatever platform you are using. Share, dearly beloved, and invite someone to come and join us in the presence of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Please do not forget to follow us on all the major streaming platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. Please also follow us on all the social media platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast, where you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes and information surrounding the podcast may the lord bless you all thank you very much for joining us so i'm going to do our opening prayer and we're going to start with our message for today let's pray father in heaven creator of the heavens and earth we thank you for your goodness and for your wonderfulness we thank you lord for your loving kindness thank you father in heaven for your presence where your word says, Heavenly Father, you are near to all who call unto you, and you are near to all who call unto you in truth in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father in heaven, for your Holy Spirit to speak to us through today's message. We pray, Father, for your Holy Spirit to manifest his power in today's prayer and in today's message in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bind and we destroy anything which may not confess your name, anything which may not give you glory, anything which may rise up in opposition against our lives, against our families, our homes. We bind and we destroy it. And we send it to the dry places in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, for the blood of Christ to cover us, to protect us, to purify us, and to sanctify us in the name of Jesus. We pray, Heavenly Father, for your reign to be upon us, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Shalom, everyone, and welcome once again to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. So, dearly beloved, as you are all aware, For the past few streams, we have been exploring our sub-theme on flattery. And the main theme that we are on right now is triggers. And this is probably going to be the last episode that we spend on the sub-theme of flattery. But we'll see how the Holy Spirit guides us. So, flattery, dearly beloved, is a trigger, as we have discussed in the last few episodes. Flattery is a trigger that can inflate one's ego. Flattery, dearly beloved, is a trigger that can make one arrogant. Flattery is a trigger that can make one very prideful. Flattery, dearly beloved, is a trigger that can make one believe that they are worthy of excessive praise. Dearly beloved, Isaiah 42 verses 8 says to us, He is the Lord he will not give his glory to anyone else, nor share his praise with carved idols. Did you beloved, yesterday we looked at Daniel 6. The message from yesterday's uh, live stream was centered around King Darius, who was basically set up and flattered by his high officials, his administrators, his assistants. He was basically set up to sign a law that required that everyone who was part of his kingdom, everyone who was part of that empire, everyone beneath him was to worship him for 30 days. This is Daniel 6. You can read the whole of Daniel 6. And as you are aware, dearly beloved, Daniel did not follow the decree. Daniel broke the law. Daniel was continuing to worship and praise and pray to the living God. And this, dearly beloved, caused a problem for the king and the king later regretted it so dearly beloved on that note i just wanted to say to someone no matter what position of influence you may find yourself in today or tomorrow wherever you may be or whether you are a manager or even probably a political leader or a pastor dearly beloved you need to be careful You need to be aware of flattery. Beware of flattery. That's the only thing I should say. Beware of flattery. 
Because as long as you are interacting with fellow human beings, as long as you're interacting with people, you can be a victim of flattery. You can be a victim of flattery as long as you're interacting with people. Let's open Acts 12. Today's text and message is in Acts 12. Let's open Acts 12. Acts of Apostles. Acts 12. We are reading from verses 1. I'm going to be reading the NLT version. May the Lord bless his word. About that time, King Herod Agrippa began to persecute some believers in the church. He had the Apostle James, John's brother, killed with a sword. When Herod saw how much this pleased the Jewish people, he also arrested Peter. This took place during the Passover celebration. Then he imprisoned him, placing him under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. Herod intended to bring Peter out for public trial after the Passover. But while Peter was in prison, the church prayed very earnestly for him. I'm going to stop there. So here, dearly beloved, just a quick um, summary of the text. Here we have the grandson of King Herod. Everybody remembers King Herod. This now is his grandson. His grandson who went by the name of King Herod Agrippa. And he is the son. So his dad is Herod Antipas, who basically had John the Baptist killed. So he, the son, Herod Agrippa, was persecuting Christians. And if you remember, his granddad, Herod, the big one, he is the one that wanted Jesus killed when he was born. So here we have Agrippa persecuting Christians. He's basically continuing his family work, the family law through the family line. He's basically continuing the devil's work and he has Paul arrested, but God delivers Paul. And after Paul is delivered and comes out of prison, there is a manhunt for Paul. And the manhunt fails, obviously, because God is the one who brought him out of the prison. And basically, Herod Agrippa, the grandson, he ends up killing the guards who were supposed to keep him in prison. So let's fast forward because the text is quite long. Let's fast forward to verses 20. Acts 12 verses 20. May the Lord bless his word. Now, Herod was very angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon. So they sent a delegation to make peace with him because their cities were dependent upon Herod's country for food. The delegates won the support of Blastus, Herod's personal assistant, and an appointment with Herod was granted. When the day arrived, Herod put on his royal robes and sat on his throne and made a speech to them. The people gave him a great ovation, shouting, It's the voice of a god, not of a man. Instantly, an angel of the Lord struck Herod with a sickness because he accepted the people's worship instead of giving glory to God. So he was consumed with worms and died. May the Lord bless his word. So the people Herod had problems with, the people Herod was quarreling with, the people of Tyre and Sidon. The text tells us that they sent a delegation. They sent an audience to come and basically meet him. And basically these people, the, the people of Tyre and the Sidonians, they made an agreement. They came together so that they can befriend the king's assistant, Blastus, so that they can convince him they wanted peace. But really it was just about the food. They wanted food because their country depended on Herod's country for the food supply. Dear beloved, there is no harm in this. There is no harm in helping people with food. We should be very mindful though to not allow those who are dependent on us to feel as though they can praise us because we're helping them. We should be very mindful, dearly beloved, 
to not allow those who are dependent on us to feel as though they have to glorify us because we are helping them with food. And what makes it worse is for them to praise us in a way that is not sincere, only because they want something. We should be very mindful to not fall into this trap. We should be very mindful, dearly beloved, to not allow those who are dependent on us to manipulate us so that we can do things for them, things that we would not normally do. Acts 12, 22 says, the people shouted, this is the voice of a God, not of a man. Dearly beloved, this standing ovation that King Herod Agrippa received from these people, the delegation or the audience that the people of Tyre and Sidon sent, This standing ovation from these people is what got the king killed. The king's personal assistant, Blasters, was not able to recognise the flattery of the people. He was not able to recognise that the people only wanted their food supply back. He was not able to recognise that they did not really want to be his friend. Neither the assistant or the king they were not able to recognise that these people did not really want peace. It was about the food supply. Dearly beloved, when people fall victim to this stuff and they discover later, they're always regretful. And in some cases, it can be fatal. Because look at the people that he was quarrelling with. All of a sudden, they're saying, this is the voice of a God, not of a man. They're praising him. And instead of him to give glory to God, the people basically lead him to error they lead him to commit sin and in the end dearly beloved the king has to suffer the consequences this is the danger of flattery so do not allow dearly beloved yourself to be caught in the net or the trap of flattery the king knew he was quarreling with these people so how is it that you were quarreling with these people you have issues with them and then now They've switched up and now they're saying this is the voice of a God, not of a man. If you are in a position of influence, if God is blessing you, dearly beloved, beware of flattery. Beware of flattery. May the Lord bless you. Shalom to you all. This was the Midnight Prayer Podcast. Please invite your families and friends. Please share the live stream link. Share with all your contacts share in your groups, share in your stories and invite someone in the presence of the Lord. So dearly beloved, we are starting our prayer. So please do not forget to follow us on the major streaming platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. Please also follow us on all the social media platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. So let's begin to thank the Lord. Let's begin to glorify him. Let's begin to magnify him. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and earth, we thank you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we glorify you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we lift your name on high. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father in heaven, for your grace, for your mercy, for your love. Thank you, Father in heaven, for your compassion. Thank you, Father in heaven, for your goodness, for your wonderfulness. Thank you, Father in heaven, for allowing us to come into your presence. Thank you, Father in heaven, for this day that you have made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad within it. In the name of Jesus Christ, did you love and thank the Lord for everything that he has done, everything he is doing, everything he is about to do. Thank him in the name of Jesus, because he is worthy to be exalted. He is worthy to be glorified. He is worthy to be magnified. He is worthy to be lifted up. In the name of Jesus, thank him in the name of Jesus, because he is the same yesterday, the same today, and he is the same forever. Thank him in the name of Jesus. Begin to plead for his mercy in your life. For his word says he is a compassionate God. He is a merciful God. He is slow to get angry. He is filled with unfailing love. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, creator of the heavens and the earth, forgive us your children. In the name of Jesus, for everything that we've done, we should not give you glory. For everything that we've done, we should not give you praises. For everything that we've done, which was against your word, against your will, forgive us your children. In the name of Jesus, you said that those who hide their transgressions they will not prosper but those who turn away from them and abandon them they shall find mercy before your sight father in the name of jesus show us your mercy father show us your mercy lord in the name of jesus christ you said father in heaven that if we confess our sins you are faithful and just father to forgive us for our sins and to cleanse us from our wickedness in the name of jesus forgive us your children
children in the name of Jesus Christ for the sinful nature, the worldly desires, the impurities, the immoralities. Forgive us, Father, for the lusts of the flesh, everything that our eyes may have seen, everything that our ears may have heard, everything, Father in heaven, that we may have done, everything that we may have said, the thoughts we had in our minds. Father, forgive us in the name of Jesus Christ. Forgive us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you said without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins. Dearly beloved, plead for the blood of Jesus to wash you, to sanctify you, to purify you in the name of Jesus. For his word says, this is my blood which confirms the covenant between God and his people. It is poured out as a sacrifice for many. For the word of God says, in the name of Jesus Christ, we were washed, we were sanctified and we were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. Plead for the blood of Jesus, dearly beloved, where you are in the name of Jesus. For his word says, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth in the name of Jesus. Plead for the blood of Christ in the name of Jesus. Plead for the blood which was shed on the cross in the name of Jesus. Plead for the blood of Jesus Christ to wash you, to sanctify you, to purify you in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Plead for the blood of Jesus. Plead for the blood of Jesus. Plead for the blood of Jesus. For his word says now, we are united with Christ Jesus once we were far away from God, but now we have been brought near to him through the blood of Christ. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and the earth, we plead for your blood in the name of Jesus. We plead for your blood which was shed on the cross in the name of Jesus. Did you rather plead for the blood of Christ where you are in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives so then you will not be doing what your sinful nature craves. Invite the Holy Spirit where you are. Invite the Holy Spirit to lead you in today's prayer. Invite the Holy Spirit to lead you in today's prayer. Invite the Holy Spirit to give you wisdom, understanding, intelligence, discernment, insight. In the name of Jesus, invite the Holy Spirit to help you identify every type of flattery. In the name of Jesus, ask the Holy Spirit to help you recognize flattery. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you not become a victim of flattery. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you not become a victim of flattery. In the name of Jesus, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. In the name of Jesus, he gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. In the name of Jesus, he says, call to me and I will answer and I will tell you great marvelous things that you do not know. In the name of Jesus, ask the Holy Spirit to help you not become a victim of manipulation. Say, I will not become a victim of manipulation. I will not become a victim of flattery. In the name of Jesus Christ, ask the Holy Spirit to help you make good decisions. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you demonstrate sound judgment. In the name of Jesus Christ, say, Holy Spirit, lead me. Holy Spirit, guide me. In the name of Jesus, for your word says, those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. In the name of Jesus, invite the Holy Spirit where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, invite him in. In the name of Jesus, invite him in. In the name of Jesus, invite him in. In the name of Jesus, invite the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to pray, dearly beloved. Every channel the enemy is using for manipulation. Every channel the enemy is using to make you do things that you would not normally do. To make you do things outside the will of God. Every channel the enemy is using to control you, to dominate you, to use you. Command that channel in the name of Jesus Christ to receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Every channel the enemy is using inside of my home. Every channel the enemy is using in my blood, every channel the enemy is using in my origin so that I can be manipulated, so that I can be used. Every channel the enemy uses against me in the kingdom of darkness so I can be a victim of manipulation, a victim of flattery, a victim of deceit, of lies. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Command that channel to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, dearly beloved, every channel the enemy is using in the name of points of contacts, in the name of seeds in the name of evil deposits command those channels to receive fire in the name of jesus christ command those channels to receive fire in the name of jesus christ command those channels to receive fire in the name of jesus christ command those channels to receive fire in the name of jesus christ command those channels to be destroyed by fire in the name of jesus christ lift up your voice and pray dearly beloved every channel the enemy is using in the name of points of contacts in the name of evil seeds evil deposits every channel the 
enemy has planted inside of you in your blood or in your home every channel the enemy is using to manipulate you to dominate you to use you to conduct you to guide you to influence you command that channel in the name of jesus christ to receive fire in the mighty name of jesus command that channel to receive fire in the mighty name of jesus every plant not planted by my heavenly father will be uprooted in the name of jesus burn that channel by fire in the name of jesus christ burn that channel by fire in the name of jesus christ command that channel to be destroyed by fire in the name of jesus those who are led by the spirit of god they are the children of god the word of god says those who are joined to the lord are one spirit with him the word of god says do you not realize your bodies are the temple of the holy spirit who lives in you and was given to you by god you no longer belong to yourselves for you have been bought at a high price in the name of jesus pray dearly beloved every channel every point of contact every deposit every seed that is planted inside of me in my blood in my home that is planted in my blood in my home that is planted in my family that is making me be influenced or be used that is making me be dominated be controlled in the kingdom of darkness i am commanding that channel in the name of jesus christ to receive fire receive fire in the name of jesus receive fire in the name of jesus lift up your voice and pray every channel that has been planted inside of me from the alliance of sorcery from the alliance with spirits from the forest every channel that has been planted inside of me from the alliance with water spirits from the alliance with spirits from the symmetry with spirits from the world of the dead with spirits from the mountains from the hills every alliance that has planted points of contacts that's planted seeds that's planted evil deposits inside of me every evil alliance that has created a channel in my life in my blood i can be used so i can be influenced so i can be manipulated so i can be imprisoned i am commanding that channel that's been created to receive fire in the name of jesus christ those who are led by the spirit of god they are the children of god i am commanding that evil channel to receive fire in the name of jesus christ i declare that connection is broken in the name of jesus that connection is broken in the name of jesus that connection shall not stand it shall not come to pass in the name of jesus pray dearly beloved every alliance that is established in the water that is established with water spirits every alliance that is established with spirits from the forest with spirits from the symmetry with spirits of the serpent spirits of the siren every alliance that is established with spirits of the dead spirits from the world of the dead spirits of sheol spirits of hades every alliance that is established with spirits from the mountains from the hills or from astral places every alliance that is established between your soul and spirits of animals that has created a channel that has created a channel that has planted a seed a point of contact or an evil deposit inside of you so that you can be influenced so that you can be manipulated so that you can be dominated according to the alliance according to the law of the alliance according to the curses of the alliance according to the laws of the idols the divinities or the clauses of the alliance pray in the name of jesus christ command that deposit to receive fire in the mighty name of jesus command it to be burnt by fire in the mighty name of jesus command it to be burnt by fire in the mighty name of jesus command that channel command that seed command that deposit to be burnt by fire in the name of jesus christ command it to be destroyed by fire in the name of jesus christ command it to be destroyed by fire in the name of jesus pray dearly beloved ever the alliance of sorcery the alliance from the water has planted inside of me wherever the alliance of animals the alliance from my father's lineage my mother's lineage has planted inside of me i am commanding it to receive fire the word of god says i am born again not of perishable seed but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of god in the name of jesus christ command every seed and every deposit that's planted inside of you for manipulation to receive fire to receive fire to receive fire in the name of jesus christ pray dearly beloved every seed every deposit every point of contact that has entered through spiritual marriages that has entered through dreams that has entered through things that you have eaten that has entered through beverages that has entered entered through drinks every seed every deposit that has entered dearly beloved through bad dreams 
that has entered dearly beloved through the laying of hands that has entered dearly beloved through sexual intercourse command those seeds those deposits those points of contact to be burnt up to be destroyed completely by fire in the name of Jesus Christ pray dearly beloved whatever has entered inside of you that has a mission of manipulation that has a mission of influence upon your life command it to be destroyed by fire command it to be destroyed by fire command it to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ command it to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ every seed every deposit every point of contact connecting me to the kingdom of darkness I declare in the name of Jesus Christ for it to be destroyed completely by fire in the name of Jesus be destroyed completely by fire in the name of Jesus command it to be destroyed by fire command it to be destroyed by fire command it to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and pray every transfer of spirits every transfer of demons every transfer of seeds of deposits of points of contacts every arrow of bewitchment which is stopping me from recognizing from identifying flattery which is stopping me from recognizing from identifying manipulation i'm commanding that evil work to receive fire in the name of jesus christ receive fire in the name of jesus christ the word of god says our god is a devouring fire lift up your voice and pray whatever is planted inside of you whatever is hidden inside of you every transfer of spirits every transfer of demons every transfer of seeds of deposits of points of contacts through alliances in the kingdom of darkness that is stopping you from identifying and recognizing manipulation for which is stopping you from identifying and recognizing flattery command it to be destroyed by fire in the name of jesus christ pray dearly beloved what is planted inside of you what is making you not see what is making you not understand what is making you not hear command it to be destroyed by fire in the name of jesus christ every seed and every deposit every spirit has been transferred inside of me every spirit that is possessing my soul every spirit that is stopping me from identifying manipulation that is stopping me from identifying a negative or evil influence that is stopping me from identifying that i am being used command that spirit that is inside of you to receive fire receive fire receive fire every spirit in the form of the serpent every spirit in the form of the crocodile every spirit in the form of the siren every water spirit every spirit from the forest every spirit from hades every spirit from sheol every spirit from the world of the dead every spirit of humans every spirit transferred inside of me that is stopping me from understanding that is removing all sense of discernment that is removing all sense of understanding that is removing dearly beloved your spiritual senses that is stopping you from hearing that is stopping you from being in communion with the holy spirit which is the spirit of truth command that transfer that's inside of you to receive fire receive fire receive fire receive fire receive fire receive fire in the name of jesus christ command that spirit that is inside of you to receive fire in the name of jesus command that spirit that is inside of you to receive fire in the name of jesus every transfer of demons every transfer dearly beloved of spirits every transfer dearly beloved of seeds points of contacts evil deposits uh, evil inheritances that is inside of you that is stopping you from identifying manipulation that is stopping you from identifying flattery every seed every spirit that is transferred inside of you in the name of the family alliance in the name of the family law in the name of the family curse command that spirit command that transfer of spirits command that transfer of deposits points of contacts to receive fire in the name of jesus christ receive fire in the name of jesus 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 receive fire pray dearly beloved whatever i have received from alliances from covenants from laws whatever i have received from ceremonies from rituals whatever i have received through dreams that is putting my soul in communion with spirits that is putting my soul in communion with authorities that is putting my soul in communion with demons from the water from the forest from the symmetry from the mountains or from astral places or from the world of the dead i am commanding it to receive 
fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. I am forgiven and I am sanctified. I am set apart. I am blessed. I am a holy nation. I am God's masterpiece in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is planted in me, whatever is planted in me that I have received from alliances, that I have received from laws, from curses, that I have received from ceremonies, from rituals, ordinations, enthronements, I am commanding it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command it to come out by fire, dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus. Command it to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command it to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command it to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you have received that has a mission to manipulate you, that has a mission to influence you, that has a mission to use you, command it to come out by fire, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, command it to come out by fire, in the name of Jesus, command it to come out by fire, in the name of Jesus, pray dearly beloved, whatever household witchcraft has planted inside of me, whatever friends have planted inside of me, whatever ex-partners have planted inside of me, whatever churches, whatever pastors, colleagues, neighbours have planted inside of me, through alliances for manipulation, through alliances for evil influences, command it in the name of Jesus to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has entered inside of me spiritually, through food, through drinks, whatever has entered inside of me spiritually, through the laying of hands, or through ceremonies, or through environments, or places I have entered, or through information I have received, things I have listened to, things I have watched, whatever has entered inside of me that is manipulating me, that is dominating me, that is stopping me from using my mind, using my brain, command it to receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ, receive fire in the name of Jesus, pray dearly beloved, wherever is planted inside of you that is taking away your self-control, wherever is planted inside of you that is making you do what your sinful nature craves, that is making you do the desires of others, command it to receive fire, receive fire, receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ, receive fire in the name of Jesus, begin to pray dearly beloved, every altar of household witchcraft that you are connected to through alliances, every altar of household witchcraft that is manipulating you, that is influencing you through alliances, that is attacking you through alliances, command that altar to be reversed by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ, command that altar to be reversed by thunder, command that altar to be shattered by thunder, command that altar to be shattered by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ, command that altar to be broken down by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice and pray in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray in the name of Jesus, every altar that you are connected to through alliances, every altar influencing you through alliances, every altar manipulating you through alliances, every altar attacking you, controlling you, dominating you through alliances, every altar in the form of the serpent, in the form of the jar, in the form of the calabash, every altar in the form of toilets, in the form of knives, every altar in the form of animals, every altar in your blood, every altar that is fighting you, command that altar in the name of Jesus Christ to be reversed, to be reversed, to be reversed, to be reversed, to be reversed in the name of Jesus, command that altar to be reversed, command that altar to be reversed, every altar in my hometown, in my place of birth, in my father's village, in my mother's village that's connected to my soul for manipulation, that's connected to my soul so I can do the will of my origin, so that I can, I can fulfill the family law, so that I can fulfill the laws from the kingdom of darkness, command that altar to be reversed by thunder, by thunder, by thunder, by thunder, by thunder, by thunder, in the name of Jesus, by thunder, in the name of Jesus, by thunder, in the name of Jesus, by thunder in the name of Jesus commander altar to be reversed by thunder in the name of Jesus commander altar to be reversed by thunder commander altar to be reversed by thunder commander altar to be shattered to be broken down by thunder in the name of Jesus commander altar dearly beloved of manipulation to be reversed and to be shattered by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ every altar in the form of the ephah in the form of the pots in the form of cases in the form of calibration in the form of jars, in the form of bottles, in the form of padlocks, every altar 
in the form of animals every altar dearly beloved in the form of the serpent every altar that's attached to your soul that's connected to your soul from manipulation in your father's house in your mother's house in your hometown in your place of birth in your place of residence every altar in your blood that dominates you that dominates you in the name of manipulation every altar that attacks you dearly beloved for manipulation command that altar to be shattered by thunder reverse that altar in the name of Jesus reverse that altar in the name of Jesus reverse that altar in the name of Jesus every altar that makes you do what your sinful nature craves every altar that makes you do dearly beloved what your sinful nature craves command that altar to be shattered by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ command that altar to be broken down by thunder by thunder by thunder by thunder by thunder as a result all the pagan altars will be crushed to dust no share a pole or pagan shrine will be left standing break down that altar shatter that altar reverse that altar in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says what union can there be between God's temple and idols for we are the temple of the living God pray in the name of Jesus and declare I am the temple of the living God I will not be manipulated in the name of Jesus I will not be influenced in the name of Jesus pray and declare in the name of Jesus Christ wherever my soul is attached wherever my soul is initiated wherever my soul is connected wherever my soul is imprisoned wherever my soul has been consecrated wherever my soul has been dedicated to evil altars for manipulation I am commanding those altars to be shattered in the name of Jesus Christ I am commanding those altars to be shattered by thunder in the name of Jesus every altar connecting my life connecting my soul connecting my spirit connecting my destiny connecting my home to spirits from the water every altar connecting my soul to spirits from the forest to spirits from the cemetery to spirits in the mountains in the hills I declare that soul tie is broken that communion that attachment is broken in the name of Jesus Christ pray dearly beloved every altar connecting your soul to the alliance of the serpent to the alliance of the siren to the alliance of the spirits from the forest to the spirits of animals the spirits from the symmetry the spirits from the world of the dead the spirits from Sheol from Hades the spirits dearly beloved in the mountains or in the hills every altar connecting your soul to these alliances command that altar to be shattered by thunder the word of God says the time is coming when God will break down Babylon's idols the word of God says take the second bull from your father so that is seven years old pull down your father's altar to bow and break down the Asherah pole standing beside it pull down every altar in the name of Jesus every altar connecting your soul to the alliance of the kingdom of darkness every altar connecting your soul to the alliance of the serpent to the alliance of the sirens to the alliance dearly beloved from the symmetry the alliance established in the forest pull down that altar pull down that altar pull down that altar pull down that altar in the name of Jesus pull down that altar he said we shall be the head and never the tail pull down that altar he said we shall be above only and never beneath pull down that altar in the name of Jesus he appointed us to stand up against nations and kingdoms pull down that altar he enabled us to be ministers of the new covenant and under the new covenant the spirit gives life pull down that altar pull down that altar pull down that altar in the name of Jesus every altar connecting you to negative alliances in your father's house in your mother's house in the house that you grew up in the house of your hometown your place of birth the house you live in the house of friends ex-partners every altar that's connecting your soul to evil alliances pull down that altar and detach your soul pull down that altar and detach your soul in the name of Jesus for the word of God says a day is coming when God will make a new covenant with his people Israel and Judah pull down that altar 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 in the name of Jesus say the Lord is my shepherd pull down that altar in the name of Jesus the Lord Jesus Christ is my guardian pull down that altar in the name of Jesus declare the Lord dearly beloved is the mediator of the new covenant pull down that altar pull down that altar pull down that altar every altar assigned every altar assigned a mission to use you every altar that uses you every altar that attacks you every altar that imprisons you pray in the name of Jesus
Jesus Christ. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Pull down that altar. Pull down that altar. Pull down that altar. In the name of Jesus. Pull that altar down. 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 And declare my soul is detached. My soul is separated. My soul is detached. My soul is separated from those altars. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare. I will not die. I will live. Begin to declare. In the name of Jesus. My soul will not be manipulated. My soul will not be used. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare. I will identify. Flattery. Begin to declare. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will identify. Every work of darkness. Begin to declare. I will not walk in darkness. I will not live under. A blindfold. I will not live in spiritual blindness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to declare. You will not die. You will live. Begin to declare. You are forgiven. You are set apart. You are sanctified. Begin to declare that you are blessed. Begin to declare that you are God's masterpiece. Begin to declare you have a new identity in Christ. Begin to declare in the name of Jesus. You are a royal priesthood. You are God's prized possession. Begin to declare in the name of Jesus. You will not die, but you will live in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to exalt him. Begin to glorify him. Begin to magnify him. Lift him up in the name of Jesus for everything that he has done. Bless his holy name. Exalt his name. Glorify his name and magnify him. Lift him up in the name of Jesus because he is the most high God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. Thank him for everything that he has done. Bless his holy name. Exalt his name and glorify his name. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to do the closing prayer. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and the earth, thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, for your compassion. Thank you, Lord, for your word that you allowed us to receive. And we thank you, Father, for this prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord, because your word says without faith, it is impossible to please you. And we are declaring by faith, Lord, that we are saved. We are declaring by faith that every power which was coming from evil altars to influence us or to manipulate us or to imprison us or to use us, those powers are broken in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare by faith, Lord, that every altar, Lord God Almighty, that planted seeds, that planted points of contacts, evil deposits inside of us, that altar is reversed and destroyed in the name of Jesus. We declare by faith we are the temple of the Holy Spirit and nothing in us, Father in heaven, will manipulate us. We declare by faith, Almighty God, that we are born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God. We declare by faith, Lord, that every plant you have not planted inside of us is uprooted in the name of Jesus. We declare by faith, Lord, that we are sanctified. We declare by faith that we are set apart in the name of Jesus Christ. We seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus and we pray almighty God for your reign in our lives. We pray heavenly father for your reign in our homes. We pray heavenly father for your reign in our families in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Shalom to you all where you are and may the Lord bless you. Thank you to those of you who joined us. This was the Midnight Prayer Podcast. May the Lord bless you all. Thank you to those of you who invited your families and friends. Those of you who shared the live stream link, those of you, dearly beloved, who were following from different platforms, may the Lord bless you. Do not forget to follow us on the major streaming platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. Please also follow us on all the social media platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of the Midnight Prayer Podcast. Goodbye.